That thing right there. That thing right there. He different, man. He different, Jack. <laughs> Couch with low. No, man. That's a different. That's a whole different species, Jack. Shout out to Boy Kachina. says, Jack's all packed up. All jacked up. <laughs> yeah, hey, man. Jacksonville is jacked up, man. <laughs> Let me, the link in the description box, man. Jeez. Woo. These sun turns ain't no joke, man. They ruin everything, man. They like locusts, man. Termites, man. Shout out to Shout out to Guy Ninja, man. Guy Ninja in the building, man. On Rumble, man. Guy Ninja in the building. Shout out. These motherfuckers are like locusts. Jeez. Wow. Friday night, I'm Shari Williams. Rick has the night off. The big story on Action News tonight is breaking news. A short time ago, police took a person of interest into custody in connection with the death of a woman who was killed by a stray bullet. The woman was shot at a home in Kensington this afternoon. Tonight, investigators tracked down the person's car, which led them to a home in northeast Philadelphia. Action News reporter Brianna Smith following the story for she's live from that home with the very latest on the investigation. Brianna. Shari, Philadelphia police say they were able to take one person of interest in for questioning here on St. Vincent Street, but they're still looking for one more. And this all comes after an innocent woman was shot and killed earlier this afternoon in Kensington. Philadelphia police say they took one person of interest in for questioning after a barricade situation at this home on the 1300 block of St. Vincent Street in Northeast Philadelphia. You can see SWAT and several police officers surrounding the house from above from Chopper 6. Police sources tell us the incident began in Kensington just after 1 p.m. Friday on the 3400 block of Tampa Street, where a large fight unfolded between males and females. During the confrontation, a female took out a gun and then a male grabbed it and started shooting. I hear like three shots. I look out the window, I see this guy running down the street here. We see people scattering and running. Police sources say a witness and other people began running a block away into this house on Crystal Street. That's where the 59-year-old victim was shot in the chest while the suspect fired from outside. You can see at least two bullet holes in the front window. And it shouldn't happen. That's disrespectful. I just hope that these guns are, they can do something about these guns on the streets of the city of Philadelphia. What about the shooters, man? Uh, what about the people that are um, squeezing the triggers on the guns? Uh, you got anything to say about that, man? It didn't happen. That's disrespectful. I just hope that these guns are, they can do something about these guns on the streets of the city of Philadelphia. Again, police are still searching for one more person of interest, and they just towed a vehicle that they believe is involved in the, in the investigation. And this investigation is ongoing, so we'll have more information as the story develops. Live in Northeast Philadelphia, Brianna Smith. Man. Fifty-nine-year-old woman shot by a straight bullet because some goddamn orangutans wanted to fight. Some orangutans wanted to fight, so she ended up getting shot with a straight bullet. Unbelievable, man.
Now to a scary situation in Parkside. Overnight, an innocent woman was injured when she was hit by a bullet from a shootout that happened nearly two blocks away. And now the search. This is the same city yesterday. So two days in a row, a woman gets hit with a fucking stray bullet. Two days in a row. This is a different story from yesterday in Philadelphia. You only get this here. Hit the like button. Now to a scary situation in Parkside. Overnight, an innocent woman was injured when she was hit by a bullet from a shootout that happened nearly two blocks away. And now the search is on for the suspects who fired dozens of shots. Action News reporter Charles Watson is live at police headquarters with brand new details on this case. Hey, Charles. Yeah, hey, Aliana and Alicia. Police say they found more than four dozen shell casings scattered throughout that scene in Parkside. And now with no suspects in custody, investigators are now combing through security video in hopes of tracking down the shooters. Philadelphia police... Philadelphia police are searching for the shooters who fired dozens of rounds on a residential street, wounding at least one person. It happened around 1140 Thursday night on the 5400 block of Wyalusing Avenue near North Conestoga Street. Police say they found 58 shell casings at the scene. Clearly two separate caliber semi-automatic weapons were being fired. The gunfire traveled nearly two blocks where police tell Action News a 23-year-old woman described as an innocent bystander was wounded once in her left arm as she was standing at the intersection of 53rd and Wyalusing. The victim had left her house to go to a 24-hour store. We're told when she heard the gunshot, she started to run but fell shortly before she was able to get help nearby. And that's when she passed down a motorist who <laughs> transported her to Presbyterian Hospital. At least two parked vehicles, including this one, were hit by gunfire. Police say the suspects fled the shooting scene. However, they tell us investigators are looking at security video from real-time police crime cameras and a nearby store in hopes of identifying those who were involved. Meantime, Chief Inspector Scott Small says folks who live in the area are fortunate nobody else was injured or killed, for that matter, after so many rounds were fired. We're very, very fortunate that there's only one shooting victim who's stable. She's shot in the arm. That's a whole lot of shots fired in this mainly residential area. Yeah, and again, at last check, the 23-year-old woman who was shot is listed in stable condition. If you have any information about this case that could help police identify or track down the shooters, they want to hear from you. For now, we're live.